Here we are rebuilding the mower deck on a 1990s Craftsman. <coughs> Somebody had one too many trulies, hit a bunch of rocks, bent up the blades, damaged the internal bearings. So, pretty much a full rebuild. So, of course, step one is removing these old blades. Normally, it'd be some type of mechanism to hold the blades in place while you loosen up the center bolt, but using this impact makes it pretty easy. Of course, you want to keep your hands outside the blades. <clears throat> all right, once we move the blades, Gonna turn it over, access all the bearings, pulleys, belts on the back side or the top side. Now's a good time to take a picture of the belt configuration before you take it off. Uh, no, of course, no picture was taken here, so you'll figure that out that later on when he needs to put it back on. Looks like you got a little pulley guard. A little excessive with the impact wrench taking out the bolts, but whatever. So the belt on this one's good. There's no no deterioration, no cracks, no rips, but the new assembly comes with a new belt, so we'll get that other way. Here we are with an idler pulley. <clears throat> the other one seemed okay, but again, the whole rebuild kit comes with all new pulleys, so we're replacing it. Looks like there's a nut on the back side, needs to be secured before tightening. As far as torque specs, just make sure it turns afterwards. Here we are with the engagement pulley. This is what provides the tension once the belt's engaged. I'll tell you what, this impact wrench makes everything a whole lot easier. Here we are with the main bearings. So this is a 90s model Craftsman. Uh, looks like it's been replaced before as far as the belts and bearings. So that was the spring holding the uh, belt guide on. And here comes out the main blade bearing. So this had a problem I think after hitting the rocks or whatever. You can hear it rattling in there, the bearings, they're just not secure. This guy's coming in and out. This is the whole reason we're doing it, I think, is uh, mainly the full rebuild because that Baron, after hitting the rocks, uh, made some uh, odd noises. So, a little comparison. The new kit comes with all the new hardware. This lawnmower is generally kept inside, so none of the bolts were corroded, rusted, uh, but we still used all the new hardware. So here he is installing the belt guide spring tensioner. So what this does is just kind of keeps the belt in place as it spins. And there's the main little pulley for the belt. It's got some splines to keep it on there. 
keep it all secure. So of course, uh, I was trying to tighten it in <clears throat> to get it real tight. Now this is a bad idea here. We stuck a screwdriver in here to kind of keep the pulley in place as it was tightened, but again, bad idea. But did the job. Rewriting the new belt. Pretty good. All right, time to flip it over and install those blades. So probably should have cleaned up the deck before doing this. Took it out, should have took it outside, pressure washed it. But all right, here we are with the blades, grass side. It's pretty clear where it goes. Again with the splines to line it up. So I've seen this before. There's a tool to secure the blade into position when tightening up the bolt, but I don't have that. So. So we're using a crowbar. Just kind of wedging it in there, kind of secure that blade in position while tightening. We're tightening up the uh, the bolts here with some blue lipstick. I'm sure those bolts aren't coming out during operation. Obviously, these guys are spinning at a high rate. So probably a bad idea with the crowbar, but whatever. Here we are putting it back on the uh, Redneck lawnmower. Got a nice mower here. It's probably a $100 lawnmower with a big old 708cc Predator motor. So install the drive belt onto the shaft. Here comes the front links. This deck is definitely more difficult to install than other models, say a Cup Cadet. Simple pin, simple lineup. Uh, this dude's done. I think he's uh, had enough. <clears throat> so after doing that, I forgot to throw this bar to the other side. So we get grab a jack, jack it up. Throw that bar to the other side and lower her down. All right, here we are with the engagement. <clears throat> so that's what pulls the idler pulley into place and puts that tension on that blade and engages the blades. So engagement cable, maybe what you call it. All right, here we are installing the, uh, these are the links that lift and lower the deck. So when you pull the lever, these guys pull up. And there's the other side. Again, this deck's just a, a lot more difficult than uh, other ride lawnmowers I've had, like Cub Cadets. A lot of little pins, a lot of little links. Here we are at the rear link. So all in all, looks like there's a total of five links, two front sways. Two in the middle for lifting and a rear one for stability. Once we get it in, it's ready to roll. So <clears throat> initially turn it on. Uh, probably should have been wearing safety glasses, but we turn it on. Looks like it's doing its job. Mow it until the next event when it starts hitting rocks. You can see the rocks over there on the right. Uh, that's what happens when you drink too many trulies and run over a bunch of rocks with the blades on. You end up having to rebuild the mower. So thanks for watching.